want to welcome you back to Plowman's Backyard and today we are in the kitchen. Um, today we're going to be making my favorite relish um, recipe. Um, I found it online. It's called Classic Sweet Hot Dog Relish and it is the best relish recipe that I have ever made and I've shared it with lots of people and they do they enjoy it so much. Anyways, you can make this um, with any type of cucumber. It's a cucumber relish recipe. Um, I've got different sizes. So if you've you let them, your pickling cucumbers grow too big and you're like, what do I do with them other than eat them fresh because they're delicious fresh. I use them for the relish recipe as well as um, any other type. You can use any cucumbers in this recipe and it is fabulous. It's so easy. Um, I really wanted to share it with you because I think that you'll love it. You'll, I mean, I've made lots of other relishes and I even made um, zucchini relish recipes and I do really like zucchini relish. However, this is like the best. It is my go-to. I've stopped making any other type of relish. There's no need to because this is it. This is the one. Um, so I want you to stick around because this is one video you're not gonna wanna miss. So basically what you want to do is you want to wash your cucumbers, get rid of any dirt, any bugs or anything that's on it. And um, we're gonna cut off the ends, put them in the compost, and we are gonna start off by splitting them right down the center. Open it up and we're gonna discard um, all of the seeds and get rid of that. So it looks like that. And I'm just gonna put them over here in the bowl till we're ready to deal with them. Okay, so now we're gonna get out our food processor. I just have an old kind of timer brawn food processor. My husband actually bought me a very expensive uh, KitchenAid food processor that I haven't really used because this one is so easy. It's so compact to get out. There's not a lot of um, extra parts to it. We got it at a secondhand store, but it is my favorite go-to little brawn food processor. And um, anyways, we're just gonna use this. Um, we're gonna basically throw a few of these in. We're gonna pulsate these to get some fine cucumber pieces. We're leaving the skin on for texture. We're just gonna put this lid on and we're gonna start and we're just gonna pulsate these. can see just tiny little pieces and that's what we want all right so we're just going to transfer these over and essentially you're going to want about four cups of um, cucumber pieces cucumber chunks you can dice them with um, a knife I've done that as well works well if you like bigger chunks I just find this a little bit faster Thank you. 
So next we're just going to take a red pepper and our onions, or our onion I should say, and we're going to put them in the food processor. Now you can uh, finely chop these um, if you wish. Um, I'm just going to save a little bit of extra time and put them in the food processor again. Okay, so now we are just going to pulsate these the same way we did the cucumbers. Okay, so the next step is to take these, the onions and the peppers are finely chopped. Um, not into a puree, but in tiny little pieces. And that is the exact consistency of what we want these to be. And we're just going to add these to our cucumbers. So that was one red pepper and one onion. To our four cups of cucumbers. Now I had a little bit extra. I had about four and a half to five and that's okay um, this recipe I do find very forgiving which is good for me and now we're just gonna mix it in mix it all in together and don't be concerned if it's a little bit wet because we are gonna let this soak in pickling or coarse salt um, for about 24 or more hours and then we are going to drain it so don't worry if you find there's a lot of liquid in this. So now we are going to get um, our salt ready and we want two tablespoons of salt. Um, this is pickling or coarse salt. We're gonna add two tablespoons and it seems like a lot of salt to add to this recipe, but don't be alarmed, don't be worried. We're just letting it soak for about 24 hours in the fridge. Um, and then we're going to drain all the liquid off. So now we're just gonna stir and mix it in. We're gonna get it well mixed in. And it's gonna get a lot more liquidy as it sits, but like I said, we're gonna drain it all the liquid off. Oh, this is wonderful. The smell of it already. Oh, wonderful. And it's that easy to prepare. So it's not like you got to do a big, large amount of work in one day. You just do this like you can do it in the evening. It takes maybe about 20, 15 to 20 minutes and let it sit and then go back to it in the morning and do the canning process. So it's really easy to do. And if you have limited time and your cucumbers are coming on too fast, this is a really easy recipe and a really great tasting recipe to get those cucumbers used up and to be able to enjoy them all winter. So now the next step is to cover um, this bowl of cucumbers. I'm gonna cover that nicely. And we are going to put this right in the refrigerator. So this is now prepared. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator and we're gonna keep it there for approximately 24 hours. You can do it a bit early and you can even leave it um, longer. I've done it before. It was still, like I said, this recipe is very forgiving, but you wanna keep it at least um, 24 hours and uh, we will see what it looks like once it's done sitting. All right, so this is what the um, relish looks like at the moment after it's been sitting in the fridge for over 24 hours. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain all this liquid off with a strainer and a wooden spoon or some sort of spoon to just press all the liquid out. And that's what we're gonna do next. You wanna rinse off. Um, some of the salt that was on there because that was a lot of salt. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a rinse and we're going to drain it again. 
So this here is the longest process of making this relish. But, I mean, it still doesn't take that long. A little bit of effort. Okay, so all the liquid is pretty much out of there. It looks really good. And now for the next. So the next step now is to make our, um, I guess you'd call it clear gel that we can put uh, the cucumbers and the vegetables and stuff in here. So uh, first, what we are going to need is some corn starch, or if you have clear gel, you can use that. What I like to use is um, organic corn starch, um, basically because most corn is grown uh, GMO. So I always try to buy um, organic corn or organic cornstarch whenever I can. And this we just get at our local grocery store. And we are gonna need one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. We need one teaspoon. One teaspoon. And a half. And one half. Now the recipe calls for a half a cup of vinegar or white wine vinegar. I use lemon juice in place of the vinegar that the uh, recipe calls for. I do find that this is a healthier choice and it works really well and it gives it a really great flavor. So instead of doing um, half a cup of vinegar, I'm doing half a cup of lemon juice. let you know that um, I have had this recipe for a while now and I've been using it and I haven't had any issues with the canning process. Um, I have relish that is almost two years old and we're still using it um, and it's been good with the lemon juice as well as I can keep this um, one jar in the fridge for about three months and with no issues. Um, so the lemon juice really does work well in place of the vinegar. So the next step calls for sugar. Now you can use any type of sugar or sweetener you choose. I have um, organic cane sugar and I'm just gonna add three quarters cup of organic cane sugar. Now I'm just gonna whisk it. And this is cold, so I'm just gonna whisk it first and we'll heat it after everything's kind of um, whisked in. Like I said, this recipe is very forgiving and um, you can make adjustments or changes as you wish. And I find that um, it still works out fine. So once all that's kind of dissolved, all the cornstarch and the lemon and the sugar. And the next step is to take this and put it up to a boil. All right, so now we're just going to turn on the burner and we've got our clear gel here and we're gonna add some herbs and spices to it. Um, it the recipe does call for a lot of different things um, that like nutmeg and black pepper and things, but I don't particularly like that. So I'm just adding, I'm gonna add some turmeric. Um, I'm gonna add some dill and some celery seed uh, to this batch here. I just got this um, organ, this uh, organic turmeric, and this is basically just to add color and a little bit of flavoring. We're going to add a quarter teaspoon of turmeric. I'm going to just add in some celery seed. Again, for some flavoring. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon or a little more heaping teaspoon of um, dill. I'm just gonna whisk this in. Oh, 
All right, so it's coming to a boil. We don't want it to boil too hard. Um, once it comes to a boil, we want this to turn translucent. All right, now that it's come to a pretty good boil, I'm going to add the um, cucumber mix. Just add the cucumbers. Now we're going to mix some cucumbers in with the gel. And what we want this to do is we um, want it to get to bring it back up to a boil. And then we are going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. It's coming to a boil. So then what we can do is we're just going to let this simmer for about 10 minutes. And I'm going to go and prep to get ready for the canning process. This is what your relish should look like about 10 minutes of simmering. Um, you can see the color of the turmeric coming through and it's clear and it's um, as it cools down, it will thicken up like a gel. Prepped and sterilized my jars. Um, just waiting for the water bath canner to heat up. Okay, and now that the jars are all sterilized, um, it's good to have one of these and we're just gonna take this and put it in our sterilized jars. You want to leave about um, a half an inch head space on top of your jars. And I like to use the 250 um, millimeter canning jars just so that you don't you're not wasting um, and having you know your jars open for a long time in the fridge. Um, you don't really go through a lot of relish, so it's a good idea to use the smaller jars for relish. So as you can see, just from that batch, we got about five jars. The next thing you want to do is just make sure you don't have any stickiness or any food on the top of your jars. You just get a clean cloth. It's not quite up to a boil yet, but it's almost ready. And I've got my lids um, heating up in here, ready for a perfect seal on our jars. You want to make sure also when you're putting your rings on that there's no um, dents and even with your lids make sure that there's no um, scrapes or dents even in the ceiling ring that's around it otherwise it won't seal properly you'll get an air leak and they'll go bad so I always put it in the one in the middle first then two on each corner and then I try and disperse it somewhat evenly if I can. So now we're just going to set these down in and they are well immersed in water because you want them to have at least um, an inch of water maybe two inches of water. You start your timer not when you put them in here but once it comes to a high boil then you start your timer. So we're going to bring that up to a good boil. We're going to put the lid on. Now I hear it rumbling really good. It's up to a high boil. So now I'm going to start my timer. And I'm going to put it on for about 11 minutes. Typically, when you're taking your jars out of the canner, you want to take them out the same way you put them in, evenly. So once again, I want to thank you for joining us here at Plowman's Backyard. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you'll give this um, recipe a try for this sweet hot dog relish. And um, the nice thing I like about this, it's great as for gifts, um, like Christmas or anything like that. Um, you can give, and they're so enjoyable. It's really good. Um, it's a good gift to give to someone. Also, um, if you're like, well, I don't really eat relish all that much. 
um, it's still worth making. You know, you can add it to recipes. Oftentimes, um, I'll add um, some scoops of this to like my potato salad or my macaroni salad, um, as well as I make my own salad dressing. So I'll add this to salad dressings for flavor and taste. Um, so you don't, if you don't like relish on, you know, your hot dog or your burger or anything like that, there are other ways to use this, and it's a really good, easy way to um, use up some of those uh, cucumbers in your garden. Or if you don't even have cucumbers in your garden, but you were given cucumbers from someone else's garden because they had too much, this is something really good that you can do just to preserve them if you can't eat them fast enough. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We'll have some more canning videos coming out as we harvest what's in our garden. And I'm going to share those with you, what we do and our favorite things to do with them. So um, stick around, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when our videos come out.